G'day. Well, you don't just start the AAWT at the terminus. You've got to put your food drops in uh, here, off them first. Leaving it at Maruka Lodge, where I'm staying. And then put a couple more in the next couple of days, up into New South Wales. Bit of snow about. Should be gone by the time I start next week. That's where we're going to be coming from next Wednesday. Just put the final food drop in at Kyandra. Well, it's two weeks later. Postponed once. Made it to Walhalla in a deteriorating weather forecast. Hasn't stopped raining here overnight. But it's just rain every day. And then in six days' time, I got snow. Well, I got snow in four or five days, but a lot of snow in six and seven days time so gonna have to get creative to finish this I think and that might start in a few hours well might as well go first sign tap it let's start this long long wet snowy walk 680 k's I think we're going to be activating plans B, C, D, E, F to finish this in the wettest October ever in Victoria it doesn't look like letting up a sensible person would quit I'm not that sensible well there's our map. It's our second attempt. Did it last year. Might have watched. Six eighty to go. So I was in Canberra yesterday. I've left my car up that end. Caught the bus back. Got the updated forecast. Just deteriorated spectacularly. Next Tuesday I've got sank up to 50 centimetres of snow some weather geek sites that's when I'm meant to be getting up on Mount McDonald through to Hotham that's a section I don't want snow so I'm going to activate plan B in two hours time hopefully which is Rawson Caravan Park I think I'm going to delay and stay there for two or three days Andy Abbey, long way from water. This is what it's like, mud, wet, saturated already. Oh, this is fun. Won't be filming too much because this water will kill this phone. Six hundred and seventy-eight days to go. Eight days later, we're up to Plan D, and I walk in from the McMillan's track at Woods Point. Join up to the AAWT tomorrow, and onwards we go. I've had eight days of rain and snow. Hopefully, clear skies are coming. But due, overdue. All right, finally, night one. Camp for the night. Corner flat, first campsite of the Macmillan track, or last, depending which way you come. And tomorrow morning we'll hook up with the AAWT some point around lunchtime on our way. Hopefully, clear weather. But for now, just one thing left to do.
morning. Last bridge. I'm going to walk across this river. I can't get across. I'm going to come back. Adds an extra 10 or 12 k's to my day. So it's either Black River campsite tonight or Fiddler's Green. Looks like I'm going back. I don't have the confidence to cross that by myself. Bit of snow still up there, Borbor Plateau. Be plenty of the direction I'm going, I think. There we go, yellow marker. Back with the AAWT, Victor Spur, Walhalla Road. <laughs> All right, Fiddler's Green. Not much of a sight. No water here. Ferals have been in here, putting fires where you want to put your tent. Leaving rubbish. That's about it. So, it's either here or Black River. Pushing on to Black River. Start the dramatic descent soon. About 38 k's today. Might as well push out the kilometres while I'm on these four-wheel four drive track days. Never look as steep in the camera. Black River. Black River campsite. Shrinking one. Used to be a spot there for a couple of tents, but they've been knocked down. That's it. Enough for three tents. Morning. Crossing of Black River and the famous, infamous climb up. This log looks a lot more slipperier than I remember it, especially with this high water below. Won't be filming walking across it this year. Oh well, let's go. I'd be lying if I didn't say I chickened out of that crossing about 25 times. That top bit, slippery and mossy. Oh, I'm psyching myself out. But I'm over. Clearly being cleared now. So, Black River of the past. It was a nightmare to come up out of. Pretty straightforward now. As of November 22. Thought I was due to see one of these guys. Drop ahead. From the saddle at the bottom of Mount Schilling Hall. Cleared highway now. Any ideas? That one's a deer. What are these? Five fingers, claws. Doesn't look like a dog. Mysteries of the high country. McMillan's and the AAWT cross paths here. Watch your step. Copperheads are out and about today. 
three. The Cola Jamison Road. Took me two and three quarter hours from the bottom. Someone's tied their pet up there, left it overnight and come back in the morning. The wilds of the high country have got it. What is that? Wombat maybe? Baby Unipuna? Rump saddle. I think I'll push on. Four o'clock. Tiny bit of snow left. Melts fast. It's covered yesterday morning. Gone by the time I get up there. Bicentennial Trail straight. We go. We get to go up. Because we're lucky. Camp for the night. This is at far out kilometre 118.6. About 500 metres when you turn off that road from Rumpf Saddle. And then the first hill at the top of it. Look to the left, a little green clearing. And then walk through the scrub for 20 metres and it opens up into this. Out skiing, sun setting. Off to low saddle today. I've got a food drop in there. It's only about 12 k's from here. And probably a short day. I think there's storms tonight. I was going to camp up on Mount McDonald, but don't want to be up there in the lightning. Probably a short day tomorrow because showers and storms tomorrow. Uh, see what happens. How are your driving skills? Don't think my car would get down there. Lots of people online ask, is, my, is that track suitable for a two-wheel drive to put my food drop in? Probably say this one isn't. Just had a dingo. Missed him. Top of Mount McKinnity. Plenty of tent sites up here. Mount Sunday. Lies ahead. What could be more fitting than climbing it on a Sunday, which is today? Mount Sunday. Missed this turn last time, end up walking an extra 4Ks down the four-wheel drive track. No wonder I missed it. Where are the signs? There. This was meant to get cleared two weeks ago but because of the weather. So it's going to be a bush bash. Good old-fashioned one. I tell you what, 
this is an absolute dog's breakfast. So, walk the extra kilometres around the four-wheel drive track down to Low Saddle. Be a three-hour bush bash through here, otherwise. Tiger snake. Don't want to get bitten by him. So get out of my way. Another one. Ten minutes time. Moment of truth. Is my food box there? Not. Been since grand final weekend, so was that about seven weeks ago. He's hoping. Otherwise, don't know what happens. <laughs> Walk back to Mansfield. Pretty sure this is us. I think, I think it's in here. So my train. Stuff's washed off this road. Oh, I see something. She's there. Stay dry. Trip continues. Here's your water. 900 metres down from Low Saddle. Last year this was dry in March, so there's a better one 200 metres further. So 1.1 k's from Low Saddle. My food drop, cheap meal. Can't beat spam. Underrated. Mexican beans and spicy spam. It's the low saddle campsite. Not much of a spot, but you can drive here in a two-wheel drive. Skies are threatening. One rumble. morning. Turn off. Now the climb up to Mount McDonald. Things get a bit more serious now. Probably the hardest part I reckon here to Chester's Yards. Don't know what the weather's doing. Clear, cleared this morning. Meant to be storms and showers this afternoon so see how far we get. Rocky Ridge walking begins. Follow the ridge all the way up. Don't get suckered down. Opening up now. A few specks of snow left. When I started Friday, that was absolutely covered. But pretty warm weather. Melt fast. Wasn't watching out for him. Put my walking stick right on him. Still didn't bite it. Copperheads. You're unlikely to get bitten by one of them, I think. Now our views start to open up. Sterling, Ola. hands down, best long trail in Australia. The hardest, logistically hard, but the best, easily.
Mount McDonald. The tiniest specks of snow. Good day at the moment. Forecast is pretty ordinary this afternoon though. Potential severe thunderstorms are be dropping down somewhere I think. You definitely camp in this saddle between the West Peak and Mount McDonald. Not a hundred percent flat but good enough. These clouds are building at an astonishing rate. It'll be about an hour away before it starts raining. Missed my turn. Kept following the ridge, it's meant to drop down. And I'm pretty certain I did the exact same thing last time. That's learning from your mistakes. I'm on the track, it's just a bush bash down to Nob's track. Definitely a dog's breakfast coming down here. Drop down the Nob's track one kilometre to get this water. Cook up some lunch. Think about the logistics of the next 24 hours. Might just camp. Back up the top, where it meets the knobs track. Storm, oh, it's the lowest point I've got for the rest of the day, so. Severe thunderstorms, it's probably the best spot to be. Dunno. Another tiger. Three tigers, four copperhead. Last time I only saw one tiger the whole trip. Out and about in the spring moving. I've decided to camp it next to the knobs track. The sky's getting darker and darker. Five hours later, change of plans. Storms did come through with hail. I just looked at the radar and I thought Pretty clear now, out the back. Why not go and do another hour and a half? Tomorrow's a hard day, so. Might as well knock out another three or four k's. Got a deer, stag, down the track. Let's see if we can catch him. See ya, mate. Back on the single track. You know, I haven't seen one person since I left, apart from on Walhalla Road, about five cars. Zero else. Zero cars, zero people. Four days in, including a weekend. Cone, square top, Mount Clear. Three pretty hard climbs too for memory.
camp for the night. 500 metres down from the knobs. And that'll be the end of part one. See you back for part two, the walk to Hotham.